Hello Pisces, getting ready to do your reading. All right, let's see what is going on for you, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Overall energy, the Ten of Coins. You have also the Sun and the Fool, how someone may view you or how they're feeling. What is in the hidden position? What you don't see, the Hanged Man. And the outcome, the Knight of Cups. Right, so Ace of Swords under the deck. I'm not surprised. Might be someone at work, maybe a Capricorn. I'm getting, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting like the full energy is like someone who's feeling giddy and happy and, and it could be someone who sees you in a different way. Who's like, also you caught their eye, the way he's lit up, you know, I was like, wow, you know, they kind of look at you sideways and like someone who is very um, attracted to you, maybe suddenly, or th there's a change here in the energy between the two of you is possibly what I'm seeing here. Might be a Capricorn involved with the devil, but again, it might be somebody who's, again, very attracted to you. Ace of Cups is here and the Ace of Swords. Could be wherever you go. Like I always say, the Ace of Coin. Work, school, the gym, park, the stables. I don't know. Coffee shop. So I'm going to keep all these out, actually, because I like this energy. It's very, to me, very, um, makes, it makes sense how somebody is feeling. This could be past person, new person, because I have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords here, but it could be somebody revealing something to you, Ace of Swords. Also, someone viewing, if you are getting a job or looking for work, this is really good energy also. Knight of Cups is usually a good employer. Usually, it's very you know, nice or easy to work with for the most part. They like you. It's not just about the money. They also like you, um, your personality when you interviewed. They feel like you're a good fit for the company. Okay, ten of coins, please. Yeah, let me do that one more time. I like the way that landed. Ten of coins, please. Okay. Ace of coins, the knight of coins, and the queen of swords. Okay. Some of you are starting something new. You're starting a new adventure. Um, ten of coins and the ace of coin can be something, you know, brand new. This could also be something that's going to make you a lot of money. This could also be a relationship that could be very long standing for some of you. I think you're seeing things very clearly with the queen of swords energy. I think you're asking all the right questions. I think you are, there's a king of swords here where I split the deck. So let me keep going and see what else shows up. This could be sometimes a mother figure with the 10 of coins, but the nine of wands, the five of wands and the high priestess. I almost feels like someone's fighting for you. Somebody's in your corner here, but putting up with something and then there could be some back and forth from arguing, but listening to your intuition. Some of you are going to get guidance. Okay, that's what they're showing me here. There's a new opportunity coming in, or it's around you already, and it may be more than one thing, but it's like you may have to make a decision. You'll know what path to take. If it's love, it's something that can grow. I'm getting the word spontaneous, so this could be someone who's a lot of fun or spontaneous, the full energy. What is this? So I'm getting like a path is opening up that the, the the guidance is going to be clear is what I'm getting. Two of Cups, wow, the Lovers and the King of Wands, whoa. Okay, you guys have a lot of good cards in your reading. You have Aces here, the Sun, the Lovers, the Two of Cups. Yeah, because when I first pull the card, usually my intuition kind of tells me or make, I feel the energy of the reading overall. And I do get like there's someone who may be giddy about you, someone who's excited. They see you in a different light. They see you in a different way. It could be, you know, a new relationship, Ace of Coin. Or maybe if you're going to a new job, somebody can't fight the feelings is what they're telling me with the five of wands and the nine of wands. This person, this king of wands, can't fight the feelings. They're very attracted to you with the fool, two of cups, and the lovers. You may be all business. If this is a work thing. You may be all business. You're focused on your job. But maybe it's a new job. Maybe it's a promotion. Also, the queen of swords, she questions everything in my mind. She's like, she's learned a lot, so now she's questioning this person's motive. So you may question them, their motives, Pisces, but... What is this hanged man energy here? Six of cups, the queen of wands, the hanged man. Emperor's under the deck with this. This queen of wands definitely could be you. There could be a past life soulmate connection with those six of cups coming out here. This person also, again, is very attracted to you because now we have the king and queen of wands. Oh, they're going to see the past life or they're going to feel the past life soul connection. Because you guys are matching. There's a strong connection here. You may be all business, you know, um, initially, but no. That's why they're looking sideways. That's why this card is like when someone all of a sudden looks at you or you look at them and it's like, who is this person? They feel like I feel like I've known them forever and you've never met them. This is that's what they're doing. And the attraction is very deep. And all of a sudden it's like 
bam, it's like right there. No wonder this person is so happy to see you every day or whenever you guys see each other or talk. Wow, Page of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. The Five of Coins is under the deck, so it tells me this person has been feeling maybe a little lonely. They've been waiting for this connection. So they could be very romantic. They're very happy Nine of Cups. So I see something very big happening here for some of you. I mean, you have a lot of aces. You have a lot of nice cards in your reading. Um, Nine of Cups, like I always say, you know, I wouldn't necessarily base a long-term love relationship on Nine of Cups, but it's a good way to get to know someone because you have a lot in common. You have a lot of fun. But because you have the Two of Cups here, I'm not worried about it. There's a, there is a very deep connection here between the two of you. Some of you also, there's a boss involved for someone or there is an... There is an um, Promotion involved also you may be getting promoted or getting more work or something like that also that's going to lead to this person You guys have a change coming and it could be very small So don't like look over the small things don't expect something huge It could be something very small that's changed, but it's going to lead you to this new person situation Okay, what are the notes? What do we need to know about this connection? By the way, I am wearing the smile you gave me. Now that is the fool all the way. This person, that's how I feel like this person feels about you. Like they see you and they just light up the sun. You make them happy. You may not know it. I'm pretty sure you know it, but I think they're falling in love right now. It's like they get excited just to see you. I hear they have a crush on you. Card is I only have eyes for you. That's so cute too. Someone may have long eyelashes or even wear glasses, but that might be like a, you might have glasses. It may, may look very sexy or very smart with your glasses on too. Maybe they like that about you. And <clears throat> your love makes my world go round. Yeah, this person really likes you. Like, I feel like you just make them happy, make them giddy. They get very excited to see you. Can I, let's say, can I borrow a kiss? I promise to give it back. Oh, cute. Okay. Is there something by any chance this person might want to say? These are usually cards from a past person. I don't know if this is a past person for some of you, but I want to tell you how I feel. Yeah. I'm getting, they will, well, actually I'm getting they may not. Well, they might. King of Cups is here, King of Wands. Usually they don't necessarily hide their feelings, right? I have the Ace of Swords. They may come out and tell you how they feel sooner rather than later. Can okay, one more, please? I bury myself in work to forget you. So again, some of you, you do work around this person or with this person. I'm getting for somebody, they, they may be a lawyer or you're a lawyer. I get a paralegal or something to do with that. I get a lot of books on the table. But again, I think this is kind of a metaphor that they try to um, not, not be distracted by you or, you know, that's my energy. Um, trying to, it's hard for them to focus on their work if you guys do work together. Or even if you don't, maybe they, they, they're at work and they think about you a lot. So... Any advice, universe, for this reading? I don't know if we need advice, but I feel like we can ask. Universe, what do we need to know about this connection? We have the Four of Cups, the Magician, and the Knight of Wands. So under the deck is the Lovers. Okay, so I feel like this is a past life soul connection for a lot of you that could develop into something bigger and, you know, longer. This is kind of the energy of possibly feeling like maybe this person is just attracted to the physical, uh, maybe they're a player, but I don't get that. So maybe you might feel that way initially when you meet this person. Um, and again, they might be a little bit of a show off as when picking up the Nine of Wands. You know, they may kind of like want to strut by you and make sure they're looking good and they smell good, that type of thing. Flirty, very flirtatious energy. Um, I feel them very attracted to you. Also, Three of Coins is under there. Yeah, getting along. So. <laughs> I'm kind of getting you're busy doing something for of cups and this person just kind of is there in front of you and it's like this very obvious to you what they're doing like they're um, trying to impress you but without you knowing what you do know partly because you do tarot partly because you're just very intuitive and partly because it's just very obvious but it's cute it's it's nice energy Knight of coins is under this one so there's an offer here but okay I feel like this person is having a hard time also holding back because again I feel like with this full energy in the sun like this is how you make them feel Happy, happy to wake up, happy to go to work, happy to go, you know, uh, do whatever needs to get done because you are there. I'm also picking up someone has, you have a boss that's kind of an ass or you don't like your work. You may get promoted soon or get a, a change of locations or something like that. I don't know. I don't think it's a new job for that person, but I get like you will be changing offices or changing buildings. 
That's just a side note I'm seeing here with this devil energy. Someone's going to help you out and you're going to get like a different assignment, a different boss or something like that also is coming through. Okay. Yeah. The fool, the deep, I like to see the moon because it's deep emotions. Again, yep. Ace of cups. This is all that was under the deck. Ace of cups and the knight of cups. So for some of you, again, death of four swords and the devil. I feel like this is passion. I don't necessarily know if this is the same boss person I saw over there. I could see there's energy over here. Someone like who's a, who's a terrible boss, but, um, no, I think this person, okay, I think this person got out of a relationship and they've left the baggage behind death and they've been kind of just waiting for someone new. And I think that person's you. So, all right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Have a great week, you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.